my five gallon bucket and I went and I, and I got a, a frame and that frame fits down in there and then you can you can use that and that works way better than something like this okay if I was just doing one wall I would have used this all right the other guy used that and there's some plastic uh, liners you can use that way you don't have to rinse that out and I didn't even have to rinse this out I just let it dry and if I need to use that eventually I'm going to use that you know when I do some other things but for the main body work I I used the five gallon bucket and I just put that strainer in there fit it in there and it works really super good okay and yes three quarters of a day this is a big huge ceiling isn't it and I, I took the, the ceiling fan blades down and by the way those blades had marks on the on the bottom uh, three different areas and we were like okay how are we gonna fix this and I looked on the top of the paddles and it was a really nice dark wood grain look and so I took I took the the paddles down and the arm brackets and I'm gonna flip-flop the the blades and I needed to take that down anyways to make it nice and easy to paint I took the cover I loosened that cover to the ceiling see that thing right there really fits up there so I unscrewed that dropped that down that way I, I did all that with my with my mini roller and and then I what, what did I use for my drop cloth just my craft paper building paper uh, rosin paper three foot wide and see I had a, a, I had a 10 foot piece like this one right here and I just took that I put it up against the wall and it wasn't long enough I cut another piece and I put it over there and then I went all the way around the edges first with my paint roller all the way around and then I did I, I went back and forth back and forth back and forth okay and that's what I ended up doing today and uh, we also had we also had an issue with the dishwasher yes Sorry. that's okay we had the dishwasher here we ran it the other day and the dishwasher ran and ran and ran and it would never shut off and mommy's taking a picture of it right now because we ended up I didn't really look at it I should have pulled the bottom I should have ran it myself and looked at it but I didn't I thought maybe somebody could just come out here and look at it and maybe the timer was wrong or there was a, a fuse out or, or a solenoid was out or something like that he took this apart and he, he started running through a cycle he saw that the that the burner that 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 back burner was pushed down into the plastic and it had it had eaten out the plastic and it was leaking and there was a pipe there's a pipe down there that's leaking he pulled that out started running he said oh that thing's leaking and I didn't want and he said it's it's too far gone and I should have looked at it myself but I didn't and so that was ninety five dollars just to have him come out and look at it and now we're gonna go ahead and replace this um, we're gonna go to Home Depot and I think uh, oh, I'm gonna talk to them they will probably uh, we can if we purchase it there uh, they will charge us to install it they and and they will include delivery they will include taking the old one out installing the new one taking the existing one and dumping it for us and they'll do all that and they'll give us a price for that and it'll be easier for them to do that than for me to do that so we ran into that difficulty today and we also ran into another another issue <laughs> This is, I have never seen this in my entire life. This is a fiberglass tub shower unit. And it's, and it's fiberglass. It's not very strong at all. And look at this. Look at that. There's a hole right there. Uh, the last person they hit, they put, they put some, uh, some shipping tape over there, that clear tape. And there's a hole there there look at that and I'm like I don't want to do, I don't want to replace this we called up a guy he's gonna come out and I and I, I was like I'm sure somebody can fix this with fiberglass reinforcement and then um, put some Bondo over that in the different areas and the epoxy and then get some paint that matches this 
and make a big patch right here and blend it in. And you know what? You can't, you're not going to be able to see it from here. It will still hold water. It'll be fine. We're not going to rip this whole thing out. You know, this is 10 years old. You can have issues with, with your valve, with your spout. You've got to take this out. If that doesn't come out easy, um, you could have another issue with that. Taking this whole thing out. This thing, there's probably a flange that goes behind the sheetrock. Okay. So I don't want to tear that out. And they probably have, they probably have other units. Oh yeah, we can install another tub insert on the inside. Well, well, it would have to stop here because this bulges out or else I would have to cut this out, put the insert in up against here, still um, go around all that stuff. I don't really want to have to mess with that. I'm hoping that they're going to be able to go ahead and patch that and call it good. Okay, so there's, there's something else we're, we're going to have to do. So I'm just show, just explaining to you briefly what I ended up doing today. Okay, and I wore my hat for painting. Look at this, no paint on it. I wore my safety goggles, no paint on there. I took my white, my white shirt and I flipped it inside out and I got a couple paint drips on here and it'll still be fine when I flip it the other way on my pants. Look, not paint at all. And I had this paint on here from before, these are my throwaway shoes. I'm not gonna wear my good stuff. So when I get here in the mornings, you know, I put all my, my good stuff up here, my good hat, my, uh, all my stuff in here, my shoes, here's my, here's my shoe horn, here's my coffee from this morning. And I just bring that stuff and then I change before I go back to the hotel. And, and incidentally, we got a hotel um, where we're staying is, it's only like 300 bucks a week for two of us for two bedroom and so if you're going somewhere you're doing some work and you got to stay a while think about uh, getting a hotel kind of like that it's pretty cheap it actually averages out to uh, th like 35 I don't know 35 40 dollars per day is all instead of like a hundred or so a day okay so now tomorrow what is my what, what's my project tomorrow oh before I go into that, I, I ended up having to do some patchwork. I ended up doing all kinds of patchwork. And I was going to use, remember I told you the other day I was gonna use some, uh, some spackle. And I ended up getting some spackle at Home Depot. And it was the stuff, here it is. The stuff that I had was all dry. I was gonna use this stuff here. Dry deck spackling. And this is the wet kind. This is really heavy. It's not the lightweight one, but what I kind of liked on it, it says, when ready, uh, oh, goes on pink, dries white. When ready to sand and paint, it dries white. So if you have to put two coats on, you wait until it's white, and then you can put on the second coat. But I ended up, I ended up just getting this stuff here. Alex Plus, this is the 40 year, uh, all purpose acrylic latex cough plus silicone is paintable and this is white um, you want to use white you don't want to use and, and you can get you can get painters caulking that's a little bit different than this but get white don't don't get don't get something like clear or something so I just I just took that and I, and I was like hey you know what I'm just gonna use that instead of my spackle and I've been I've been doing all kinds of, of things remember that big hole here I've just used that caulking on that and I'm gonna end up having to put a little bit more on there and even the bigger like these bigger holes I just put spackle in there and I ended up putting two coats on there so far you, you got to put one coat on and let it dry because as it's drying it sinks in a little bit then you can put another coat and then once I get all done with that after two coats you know I have to put another little coat on there and then after that dries I'll put some more caulking boop 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 and then take a putty knife and flatten it down to make it look like a skip trowel or this is a spray texture knockdown see how they sprayed it on there and they let it dry a little bit and then they took a trowel and knocked it down so you have the the backing pieces and then you got a flat bit you got a flat bit you got a flat you see what I mean and so 
I don't want to just put a flat patch there because after you paint, you're going to see it. So once I get that flat with my caulking, I'm just going to dab it a few times and then I'm going to take my, my putty knife and just flatten it down to make it look like this here. It's going to mimic that. Okay, and, I, and I'm doing that all kinds of places. I had to do it, uh, I had to do it down in here, down in here, and, and on the side, and uh, you know, there's a couple, couple other places where I had, where I had some gouges and stuff, and, and I thought, you know what, I don't really need the spackle now. And right here, here's the closet doors, go across here, there's a closet right here, and see how the baseboard stops right there, and then there's nothing right there, and then the baseboard keeps going in the closet, boom, 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 and then nothing right there. Well, this was all cracked out and was missing uh, some stuff right in there, and I had to continue that all the way down, because when the carpet goes around here, you've got carpet pad, and then you've got the carpet that fits over this and gets tucked in right here. Well, if, if I didn't patch this, the gap could have been up a little bit high so that when, I, when the carpet goes there, maybe, maybe you see a wall that's unfinished there. So you kind of think about stuff like that. So I filled that up with caulking. I've got two coats on there. I did the same thing there. I don't care if it's 100% perfect because I want some dips and doodles in there to match this wall. Cause see, it's not smooth, is it? Look at all that. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. I'm sure you're gonna wanna see the progress and on how this is coming along and what it looks like step by step before we put this for sale.